International Dino Authority. Well, it's not every day that we get a chance to see um, a Ford Bronco with this many goodies on it. Jason Ziemba has joined us here from just outside of Detroit, Michigan. He's got his 2.7 liter uh, twin turbo 2022 Ford Bronco and he has added a lot of different parts to it and we're just about to see what it'll do again baseline this will be the first video that you see where we don't actually install an intake because this one already has a very good intake on it this truck has big 35 inch tires he uses it off-road they're perfect for that he's got an air up air down system it's a very cool unit but on the dyno the 35 inch tires do nothing but take away horsepower so we'll see how much horsepower it takes away in this case we're gonna start out by doing the same thing we always do. We're gonna baseline it just stock, just the way it is um, with no programming done by International Dino Authority. And then we will slowly start to work our way up on the tune, making everything correct and working our way through our tune. Wally is back in the driver's seat. He's ready to go and we're ready to go. of baseline passes when we heard this one on the very first pass it sounded good you can hear it spool you can hear the turbo come on 285 foot pounds 222 horsepower basically the tires are a bit of a hold back compared to some of the other ones we've done that have the lighter tires they're big they're hard to turn Okay, Wally behind the wheel and uh, working away on building a boost curve, making sure that the boost curve and the fuel curve work together and make sure that it's safe. Every time he bumps it, he seems to be able to just work his way up. So we were at 223 when we came in. We went up to uh, 260, 277, and we just hit 307 this time with 400 foot-pounds of torque. So he's been uh, slowly working his way up, and uh, we'll see what comes next. Bronco making so much power it's coming up on the knock sensors so watching the coming clips as you see the blow-off valves start to hit early and the safeties kick in and we can't even make a pass <laughs> point Wally's decided to stop tuning and he's having a conversation with Jason what they're deciding on is what step do we take next we're going to continue to tune we're going to put him just before the edge of his fuel system and then Jason is going to go home and put a meth kit on what the meth kit's going to do is going to allow us to have proper octane proper knock control and keep everything in a completely safe zone we're going to go back we're going to make a few more passes we are going to run the vehicle up to its maximum potential today. We're gonna to pull away from that just a little bit, have it all ready so that he can install the meth kit and the tune will be spot on. It's been a pretty exciting day here. You can just feel the energy in the room now. Now that we've made 508 foot-pounds of torque, 423 horsepower, nearly doubling the amount of power that this Bronco came in the door with. One of the big important takeaways from today is we, we have intakes, we have downpipes, we have performance mods that have been added when those performance mods are put together on their own, not a lot of performance is really gained. 
But when we tie those together with a tune, that's when you really see the optimization of your modifications coming through. We were so excited to have Jason join us here today at the shop, work our way through making 508 foot-pounds, 423 horsepower. This is now the fastest Bronco in the world. Let me tell you, we're happy about that. We're happy to have Jason, and we want to see you right here at International Dino Authority.